Welcome, 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 everyone. This is Tracy Una Wagner with Versal Inspirations and the Lightworkers and Earth Angels Academy and Study Hall. And this is your weekly energy foresight for June 21st through the 27th. So we are getting done with June, just a few more days after this week of June. So next week, it'll be a short week. So for all of June, we've been taking cards from the Rider Waite Tarot deck, and that is by Arthur Edward Waite, and the illustrations are done by Pamela Coleman Smith. And this week's card is the Eight of Swords. And this card says, this is so interesting that this card would show up. You're feeling vulnerable right now with all the truth telling and opening up about who you are at your core. It's understandable. Be gentle with yourself and your feelings around it. Just don't imprison yourself in self-doubt. Tap into the freeing aspects of being able to show who you truly are to everyone. Lose the binds that tie you, dear one. You have been set free. So like we talked about, even at the beginning of June, it's difficult to let people see who you are. It's so much easier though, because you don't need to worry about who knows what and who doesn't know this part of you or this side of you. Let people know who you are. And that way it will be easy enough. You don't have to put on airs. You don't have to pretend that you're this one thing and you're really this other thing. Just know that who you truly are will attract the people who love you and appreciate you. And hopefully we're getting to a point where we understand we are all individuals. We all have beautiful qualities and we all have shadow and silly and ridiculous sides to us. Just know that you are loved, dear one, so much. And your tribe is trying to find you to show you that. And this card is telling you, lose those binds that are tying you. Free yourself. Because by being truthful and honest, you are freeing yourself. So for this week, I know it was difficult. So let's go ahead and work with healing with the fairies. So just as much as fairies are playful and fun and kind of sprightly, they are also very healing. They can see our shadow sides. They live closer to the earth plane so they can see our shadow sides and see what we're working on. And they can be very helpful in certain circumstances. So for midweek, which is the 21st through the 24th, that is June 21st through the 24th. And that is Monday through Thursday. The card that came through is beauty. No that this new you is truly beautiful. You shine in such a beautiful radiance that that is really how your tribe finds you. When you are showing your true self, the beauty that is exuded from your auric field is like a beacon for people trying to find your message, your gifts, your talents. And it shines forth through everything, through that fog of materialism, that fog of egoistic things. It shines through all of that. It's at a higher plane, so it has to. So just know that the beauty doesn't mean like we have to be beautiful, but know that you are beautiful to those people. Your message is beautiful. Your talents and gifts are beautiful. So just know that by being yourself, you're showing that beauty from within. And that's who we truly are. All right. So end week is June 24th through the 27th. So Thursday through Sunday. And the card that came through is problem resolved. 
So just know this whole thing is going to resolve itself. It seems like a problem. It seems like we can't do something, but yet the fairies are telling you they're helping you to work through things. They're helping you solve these problems. And by the end of the week, you're going to feel much lighter and able to stand in your power, able to know that you have so many cheerleaders rooting for you at this time. So just call on your fairies if you're finding those problems a little hard and like you can't tackle them. Trust in their guidance, trust in their suggestions, and trust in the help that they're helping, that they're trying to deliver to you. All right, everyone, have a fabulous week, and I will see you next Monday for our very short reading before we head into July. <laughs> Take care, have a fabulous week, and as always, I'm sending you and yours love, light, and eternal blessings. Take care.